Hi folks, uh, today I'd like to tell you about the Golden Melody harmonicas. Um, now, let me just show you a bunch of them here. There you go. So these are um, my my stock of Golden Melodies. Um, the reason I've got these, this one, this one, and this one offset is because they are new ones um, and the others are old ones that I've just had for years. And I'll um, I'll show you the difference between those. But the first thing to notice is the shape of them. I always thought that I always thought that the shape of these is really nice. You can see they're very rounded on the edges, um, and I personally I like that feel. So it fits really nicely into your hand there, and really nicely around that curve. So I think they're. Uh, um, a great feel to them. Initially, I thought they looked a bit odd because I was used to looking at uh, marine bands and all that kind of thing. But uh, I think they're really good. Um, very airtight. And in fact, they're so airtight that you can, if you uh, close your hands behind it, blow at this end, the air's got nowhere to go and it comes out of there. So you can get a sort of a a draw sound of the top hole notes when you blow the bottom hole notes. That sound, sounds bonkers, I know, but you can blow and draw at the same time. Can you hear it just about? You'll get that kind of thing. Anyway, that's beside the point, but they're very airtight, that's what I'm trying to say. They're airtight, they sound nice, they're quite bright. Now, the main thing about the Golden Melodies is in the clue is in the title melody. They are designed, they're tuned so that the each note is is really well made, well tuned for playing tunes. It's not tuned for playing chords particularly. You can do and you might not even notice the difference. Now, to a trained ear that might sound a bit of a rough chord, whereas To a trained ear, that's going to sound really good for melody. So these are really designed for playing tunes, but they work in anything, let's be honest. Okay, that's good. You can tell it's a modern one. If I hold that right up close, if you look inside here, you'll see the the um, heads of the screws. Can you see that? Just about, maybe. And you'll see them at the bottom there. So these are screwed together, whereas the older ones are nailed together. That's how you can tell the difference. And um, at about the same time, Hona changed their tooling, I'm led to believe. So they're a much better instrument. Uh, this bit along here, just in case you're asking, these are, this is a D harmonica. These are all the keys that this harmonica will play in if you, if you um, get the hang of the, the uh, techniques. So, okay, so there it is. They come in all keys, keys, including low F, like this one. And you can get them in, what's that one? Low F sharp. There's another nice one here somewhere. This is a low E. I like the low hit instruments. So there we are, there's the Golden Melody. They're well known for being in tune, nice bright sound, um, good for playing melodies. The reason I started getting them initially, and I bought the whole the whole lot, so I wanted to try and sound like Howard Levy, because he bought, <laughs> I noticed a video of his, he was playing Golden Melodies, I thought, well if I get some of them, I'm bound to sound like, sound like him. Um, or who else uses them, let me think now. Carlos Del Junco, he studied with Howard, so he uses Golden Melodies a lot. And uh, unfortunately, I don't sound as good as either of those, but I guess I need to keep working at it. So there you go. Thanks a lot. See you later.